Hey, are you there? Listen to this. News. Music. Poetry. Drama. Interviews. Commercials. And variety shows are all beautifully packaged in one piece. And are represented on the number one radio, FX1 Radio. FX1 Radio? Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> Apex One Radio African Fiesta is exactly 10 minutes past 12. And it's time for us to move over to Bain, Switzerland, when Kanyakwai is already on the line. And from that end, he now joins us. Kanyakwai, welcome to the show. Hello, Enes. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, how Good is... morning in uh, the U.S. Right, so how is Switzerland today? Switzerland is doing good. It's sunny. The weather is bright. You can see only blue skies everywhere. Hmm. Blue skies everywhere. And uh, you are currently uh, sojourning that country on uh, a summer vacation. So uh, how is uh, your holiday going on? Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm having a good time. Hmm. Right. And um, you deserve uh, that good time after... Uh, the hard work that resulted to you picking up uh, one of the prestigious uh, 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 prizes at the 2015 Ekran Noir Film Festival. Nightfall uh, turned out to be the best African movie as per that festival. So, uh, and Kanye Kwai, before we get into our topic for today, how are you celebrating uh, that uh, recent prize? Oh, well, I, to be honest with you, I have no hard time to celebrate because uh, I have a handful of uh, assignment deadlines and other things to meet up with mm. but if not it was uh, something to write home about uh, this is the second time i'm winning an award from the canon festival back to back uh, last year was a uh, best actor and this is best film so yeah it is quite an encouragement and uh, a confirmation i'm on the right track right and so you are used to film festivals uh and if one of uh, your films uh has just been declared as best film it means that uh, some jury sat and uh, looked at all the elements uh, that are supposed to be involved uh, for a film to be considered as uh, good and to be named as best so um, question uh, Kanya to be described as uh, a complete production what elements must a film have to be described as a complete production, you, you know, that will be very relative and very subjective uh, mm. because to define something as complete, which is very tantamount like describing something as uh, successful, that has to depend on the initial set goals of that project. So for us to say a movie is complete or a production is complete, it depends on what the producer has envisaged, what was the roadmap and what he wanted to achieve out of the movie. So if that is a Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, are you still with us? I'm with you. Okay. Yes, Kanya, um, uh, what description would you give to a movie which has a fantastic story, yet the images of the movie are blur, the sound quality is nauseating? I was told some time ago that uh, uh, a film depends on story, story, and story. But then, um, we have a good story. We have poor sound quality, poor images. Would you still consider that as a good film? Personally, I will consider it a good movie with a technical problem. <laughs> yeah, good one. Could you explain more? Good, kind of one. good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a movie is mm. storytelling. You are telling a story using sound, pictures, emotions. But basically... It is the story. So, if the story is good, the screenplay is well written, and the actors are interpreting the story right on point. Now, uh, when we have bad sound, when we have bad images, that does not affect the core value of the story. Hmm. It means the story still remains. It's like unrefined gold. You cannot say a gold is bad because it is poorly refined. It's poorly uh, uh, achieved. 
So to me, I will still consider the movie good, but with technical problems. Mm -hmm. And so, how would you describe the movie generally, bad or good? Uh, like I said, I would say it is a very good movie with bad sound, bad images. Because uh, you can have a very good image, very good sound quality in a movie. But when the story is bad and the interpretation is poor, I will never say that it's a good movie. Hmm. And I think most people would say that it's not a good movie either. But a good movie does not depend on the sound and, uh, and, 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 and the images. As, as, as a primary uh, uh, value, it depends, first of all, on the story. I will say a good story, good screenplay, good acting with bad sound, bad images is a good movie with technical problems. Hmm. But a good, a, 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 a bad story, bad interpretation with good sound and good images, to me, is a bad movie. Right. Now, so tell me, uh, personally, what would you consider as a bad movie? Like I just said, a bad movie is a, is a movie with no story, with no team, with, 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 with no focus. The plot line is not uh, uh, understandable. Something that is just there, maybe just a bunch of people talking with no orientation. Mm -hmm. To me, that is a terrible movie. Now, Kanya, I've spoken with uh, some filmmakers and they hold that uh, the best movies to them are the ones that are properly edited. Is this a true assertion? Yeah, it is a true and it is a false assertion. It depends. It's very, very depending on, uh, on, uh, on other variables. If every other thing is in the status quo, that is, we have good images, good sound, good acting, good story, the editing tool will make the movie even better. But if the other variables are not well achieved, no miracle can be done in the studio. Hmm. No miracle can be done in the studio. Mm -hmm. Now, is it possible for a movie uh, to be properly shot on the field and then um, spoiled in the studio? Absolutely. It happens every time. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, let us look at your own film industry and uh, its evolution as far as the technical quality of uh, uh, movies uh, is concerned. Would you say there has been an improvement in the quality of movies made in Cameroon today? Of course, there is a remarkable improvement uh, in the quality of the movie we do today in Cameroon. And have you identified uh, areas of this improvement? Is it that the sound quality uh, of Cameroonian movies have improved? Is it the images, uh, the pictures, stories? Or where exactly do you think uh, this improvement has uh, taken place? Uh, the stories, the stories, and we have uh, upgraded uh, equipment like good cameras, good sound, of course. But above all, we have uh, the, 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 the advent of technology where uh, people are more aware. Uh, most filmmakers today who go in to do a production, uh, they want to make sure they know what they are doing, unlike the previous ages where people just did what they thought they wanted to do. But now people are more aware, they are more educated and they have a vision after all before they even embark upon the production now uh, despite this improvement you are talking about in kenya which you may have observed uh, i think there are still increasing complaints especially from uh, lay viewers in cameroon that uh, cameroonian movies are bad and uh, they give the industry a negative representation is that what you feel as well and when these worries keep coming up how do you feel as uh, a Cameroonian filmmaker? Well, I think it is a very good pointer. Uh, it helps us to be more uh, serious. For the past several years, we have been somehow under a lethargy period. And uh, when the lay man complains about the quality of our uh, movies, it shows that somewhere we are still failing. We have not reached the summit. We still have to go back to the drawing board. We still have to improve upon certain areas. Uh, maybe the story itself, maybe the acting and above all, maybe the directing. So, uh, yeah, we still have to work. We still climb in the summit. In Kenya, um, there is definitely uh, a, a, um, a problem which I think Cameroon is facing today. Everything has virtually gone digital, and uh, Cameroon still has a serious problem with internet connectivity. Um, do you think uh, this problem is affecting filmmaking in the country? And what do you think can happen uh, to improve um, 
I mean, uh, the way films have been made in Cameroon today. You have 12. Okay, we're sorry about that. We lost uh, Kanya Kwai, who will definitely come back. To him, this is Apex One Radio Eins. We are talking about bad films, good films, and a sensual board in Cameroon. One we'll see is on standby in Bamenda. Let's have some music, then we'll be right back. You are listening to Apex One Radio. Stay with us for the best bet in the new wave of communication. Apex One Radio. Get informed, enjoy, and learn. Elisa by D. Dabel. Call him Dwala Boy. <laughs> and this is uh, African Fiesta from Apex One Radio. Let us go back to Ben, Switzerland, when Kenya is back on the air. Yep. Kenya, Pai, welcome back. Thank you, Ernest, and thank you to the crew. Okay, yeah, so we you. are running off uh, the talk with you. And uh, the first question in this last segment is... Um, there has been a clamor for a census board in Cameroon in the film industry. And do you have any idea if it has been created or it exists? Well, I know that it has not been created, and uh, I'm also looking forward to that, but I'm very skeptical as to what would be the de- definition of a census board. Mm. What are they going to be doing in reality? In effect, uh, what are they going to be serving the Cameroonian Republic with? You know? So we are looking forward to it, and uh, yeah, if not for now, we're still waiting. And that is just what we should find out from you and Kai and uh, Kanyakwa as a filmmaker. What should uh, a body like that be doing precisely? Well, I cannot, as an individual, uh, decide what they should be doing. But in my opinion, a census board, uh, just from the word census, they are there to be like a, a permeable uh, uh, institution where they would decide what kind of films. Uh, the one to go into circulation in the nation of Cameroon. I don't know if we have an audience, if we have a market where movies are being circulated. So if that be the case, then we'll understand that the census board will come in place to see that not just every kind of movie will have to go into the market. But now that we have no market, we have no audience, uh, they will censor the movie to go there and not to go where? That is the question. That's the, that's, that's the $1 million question I've been asking. Yeah, but if movies have to go to Oscars or to, 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 to any other festival that requires endorsement from, from uh, an institution like that, then we can understand that maybe a census board will have to, to decide what movie, what standard, what quality, what, what message will we, 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 we carry that they will allow to circulate or to pass through, you know? But when we have no market, uh, when uh, 99% of the filmmakers in Cameroon are independent filmmakers, I don't see how uh, a census board will be very effective because uh, if I do my movie in Bonjuma, uh, I, 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 I print them on CDs, I go to the market, who even sees me, who even gives it them that I have a movie in circulation, you know? So I, 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 I don't want to be very skeptical, I don't want to be negative about it, but I'm looking forward to see how it will. Uh, come to function and how they will work effectively to bring uh, the change we all desire in the industry. I think the first uh, check to the kind of movies people should be producing in Kenya Kwai is uh, is training and my assumption is that if people get trained, they won't do movies uh, that uh, will not be appreciated by the public. Is that what you think as well? What is the role of training in, in this whole thing? Of course, uh, we can't overemphasize uh, the role of training in any uh, film, not just film, in any career you want to do, you, there's a need to be trained. Uh, 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 without training, you are just making, uh, like, uh, I don't know how to call it back in Cameroon, tumbu tumbu boss, you know, you're doing some kind of uh, uh, try and error, um, what works, works, and what doesn't work, doesn't work. So there is a need for training, but you and I know that training is not uh, a guarantee that you can make good movies, but notwithstanding, we need training. Because with training, if you already have an, uh, a good talent, training will go a long way to complement and uh, elevate your standard of production. Yeah, go ahead, Kenya. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we need, we need training. We need training in Cameroon to do movies, but those who can't do movies because they are not trained, will not be able to do movies even when they're trained. So we need movies in the first place. And uh, a movie is art. Art is not uh, uh, biology, it's not chemistry or physics. It is art. It's something that comes from within, first of all. 
So there are some standards, there are some rules that we need to to to, to be aware of as an artist to 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 get the paradigm and be able to fit into, into such paradigm. That's where training comes in. That is the necessity of training. Right. But first and foremost, as an artist, you need to be able to. To, to understand that you have a talent for writing or you have a talent for acting or you have a talent in, in one or the other way in filmmaking, that will be your impetus, that will be your force of determination. Right. In that training. Yeah. Hmm. Now, uh, in Kenya, uh, last question. Uh, a lot of Cameroonian movies are being sent uh, uh, or submitted to international festivals nowadays. Um, what would be your recommendation? That these movies are scrutinized before they are sent because uh, uh, they are the movies that will either uh, give Cameroon a good or poor reputation. Uh I think festivals, there uh, are a census body, let me, in quote, like, there are a census body in quote, because when the movie is not good, they will not accept it, as mm. simple as that. So okay. we need a, a primary census board before we go to the festival itself. Even with the market, uh, every market has its demands, has its standards. So when you as a producer are submitting a movie into a festival or into a market or into a television for them to buy, if your work does not meet their demands, they will not buy it. You know, you could still have a very well done movie, but it will not be accepted in a particular market because they have their specifications that you have not met in your production. So I, I don't I don't see that as a problem to me. Okay, and uh, Kanya Kwai, thank you so much for accepting to clarify uh, public opinion on this uh, burning issue uh, talking about uh, the quality of the movies we produce and hopefully we'll come back to this topic and uh, we'll definitely have you back so thank you so much Nkanya and do have a fantastic time as you enjoy your holiday thank you so much Ines, and to the crew I'm glad to be part of this show this afternoon and, yeah thank you okay uh, that is Nkanya Kwai running off there then, uh, next stop is Bamenda to run off with one Musi Bet. Before Musi comes, let's have it. Thank you again for tuning in with Apex One Radio. Stay with us on www.apexoneradio.com. Apex One Radio, your radio.